What is going on, YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna to be doing a fitness review of my Sennheiser Urbanite XL wireless headphones. A big trend around my gym, I think gyms everywhere right now, is people are going to wireless headphones for many different reasons. The main one being, let's say, this happens to me all, used to happen to me all the time when I had my pair of Beats. You would rev up for a, a PR, you know, like get on deadlifts, and you'd bend over, you, your music's blasting, you know, you're, you are all fired up. You bend over, do the deadlift, and all of a sudden the cord pops out, and then you're just the most angry you could be in the gym. So that's why I feel like people are going towards wireless headphones at this time. So just before I get into some of the features, I just want to let you all know I'm pretty knowledgeable in headphones. I've owned many pairs over my time. I'm a musician and a producer of my own music, so I feel like my ear is really, really good. Uh, some of the headphones I currently own, other than these uh, these Urbanite XL wireless headphones by Sennheiser, are a pair of Audio-Technica ATH M50s. These are awesome headphones. I would recommend this them to anybody if you guys like. Just listen to music. I would recommend buying these. Um, I also own a pair of Beats that are my old workout headphones, which I'm trying to sell because I just hate hate them so much. And then I have also had other ear, other ear, in ear headphones. So features wise, uh, the EQ of these headphones is pretty flat. A lot of headphones that are um, over ear, such as the Beats, the first thing you'll notice is that there's a lot, a lot of bass in this, in all the music, like maybe more than was originally wanted by the artists or the producers. These headphones give you the flattest sound possible. It's how the artists and the producers wanted you to listen to the music. This can all be changed, of course. You can go into your settings and add more add more bass, add more treble, et cetera, et cetera. But I think this is the EQ on this is almost it's perfect, pretty much. It's it's flat. It's how it's the music's wanted to be sound. So. Uh, there are so many features of these headphones which make them really cool and I think what makes them cost so much, they're almost $300, which if with enough usage is worth it in my opinion. But there's a volume control on the side where you would slide your finger up and down the side of the headphones. That works really, really well, but with Bluetooth, it takes a little longer for uh, the, the signal to go to the headphones to turn up or turn down. There's an on and off feature on the side of the headphones. This is one of my only gripes on the headphones is you press the side of the headphone to turn it on and off. It rarely works except for when you are taking the headphones off to talk to somebody or have your ears or head cool off for a second. And of course, it shuts off, is impossible to turn back on, and then you have to turn the music back on using your phone or whatever mobile device you're using. Uh, one of the things I love about these headphones is the battery life is literally insane. I got these headphones in the middle of May, maybe back half of May, and I've charged them once. I think... Standby time is almost 25 hours, which is just insane. And I, to be honest with you, uh, it, I need to charge them so infrequently that I, I've already lost the cord, which I, I think I show you in the video. So another thing that I really like about these headphones is they stay on my head. A lot of uh, wireless headphones, they jiggle around, but as you can see in these videos, I'm you know shooting hoops, lifting, and they're on my head at all times. The look is high quality. I've already gotten many compliments on them, and I really enjoy how they look. So finally, my overall review of these headphones, I would say would be eight and a half, nine. The only thing that really bugs me is the on and off feature. Other than that, I think they sound really, really good for uh, Bluetooth wireless headphones in which many don't sound as good because over Bluetooth, the audio quality decreases a little bit, but I still think they sound as good as some of my wired Audio-Technica headphones. So I would recommend th this pair to any fitness lover, or just anybody that enjoys listening to music a lot. They really have improved my workouts because I don't get mad at myself, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, eight and a half, nine out of 10, highly recommend. Uh, that is it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will be seeing you soon.